In this demonstration, we're going to see how we can use Simscape language to define a custom hydraulic component. We are modeling a hydraulic actuation system. We would like to use custom equations to define the relationship between flow rate and pressure at the entrance to each of the hydraulic chambers in our hydraulic actuator. To do this within the Simulink environment, we will use Simscape language. The component we create will look like this. It will have two hydraulic ports for this orifice. Looking at a portion of the Simscape language code, we can see that the code is MATLAB based, it's object oriented, and allows us to define implicit equations, which can include DAEs and ODEs. I'll now switch over to the model so you can see what this looks like. Here is a model where we can test our custom hydraulic orifice. When I run the simulation, we'll see how it behaves. Here you can see the pressure drop across the orifice, and you can see that as we increase and decrease the flow rate through it, there are two regimes, a laminar regime and a turbulent regime. Double-clicking on the block, we can see the source code. If we go to the bottom of the source code, we can see the custom equations that we have implemented to get the behavior that we need. I will go through this code in more detail in PowerPoint, but before I do that, let's incorporate this orifice into our actuation system. Here is the actuation system we've been working with. If I run the simulation, we will see how it behaves. We can see how the piston is moving between the hard stops. We want to use this component to customize the behavior of the fluid at the entrance and exit to this cylinder. So I'll go back to this model, grab our custom orifice block, drag and drop it on the line, and it will connect right in. Now I can rerun the simulation, and we'll see how the system behaves. We can see that adding in this custom orifice has changed the behavior, and this is what I was looking for. I'll now go back to the slides so I can explain to you how we've created this custom component. This is the source code that implements our custom hydraulic orifice block. The first portion of the code is where we define the hydraulic ports. Our orifice needs to have two ports. We reuse the domain definition from Simscape so that our block is compatible with the rest of the hydraulic libraries. The next thing we need to do is to define the user interface, where we expose the parameters we want other users to adjust. This is done here. You can see that in this section of the code, we have defined the parameters that we will use in the equations, the default values, and the units. We've also defined the prompt that users will be shown. In the next portion of our code, we will leverage MATLAB. Here you can see we have used MATLAB code to verify that parameter values are legal and we have done some preliminary calculations. In the next section, we define how this component will behave. Here are the custom equations we wanted to implement, and here is what the code looks like. The most important thing to note about this section is that these are simultaneous equations. All of these equations will become part of the overall network in Simscape, and all of these equations will be evaluated simultaneously. This is different than what you may be used to in MATLAB, C code, or even in Simulink, where the blocks or the lines of code are executed one after another. We have defined a set of implicit equations here, and all of these equations will be solved simultaneously. We are not assigning different values here and then using those values in the next line, and we're not specifying inputs and outputs. The equations you define here can have branches with if-then-else. You can turn on or off zero crossings, the equations you define can be based on variables, their time derivatives, parameters that you define, and other quantities. In this demonstration, we have seen how we can use Simscape language to define a custom hydraulic component.